hi guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are reacting to this girl who gave birth when she was 11 yeah guys 11 when she got pregnant and she had a baby when she was 12 years and she's just proud of it and people are coming for her left right center so in this video i want us to quickly go ahead and check out what other creators have to say and they will come back to talk more on what i have to say about this topic before we go make sure you give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below and i'll see you guys in the comment section Once you hit 30, your eggs are drying. You're like your mama should have been talking to you because I guarantee you, when you came to the house saying you pregnant at 11 years old, your mama should have got up on your ways. You wouldn't even be making no posts about nothing like that. You hear me? Because ain't nothing cute or sweet about having a baby at 12 years old. First of all, baby, your uterus, your body ain't even fully developed at 11. You know you could have hemorrhaged. You hear me? Were you in that delivery room by yourself? Did you have do you have a supportive father for that baby? And for those future children that you keep saying you're about to have before you're 20. Because I got to tell you one thing, honey bun. I guarantee you the people that gotta feed you and them children right now, they ain't glorifying you having a baby and planning on having more before you even you old enough to drink. So you giving me the little girl vibes. The one, you know, y'all the teenagers that think they know everything, but they're the ones that got to learn and live life the hard way. Because instead of them being smart and using their brain, like, you know what? What kind of quality of life am I giving these kids if I have them before I'm even, even able to get a good job? Before I'm able to finish school. Because, see, you don't know what hardships going to come along with having them children while you're young. You can have complications during your pregnancy. You can't be unalive giving birth to your child. Because, see, you're talking about these 30 something year old women. Nine times out of ten, they got a spouse that's supporting them. And they can take care of that child if they don't make it off that table. Can you say the same? Would your child be with your parents or in foster care? And I'm going to give you some biology right quick. We're going to go back to the 30 some year old women. See, a lot of women in my life, I know they chose to have children after they got finished with high school for one. Got finished with college for two and was able to give their children those dream vacations, decorate their room how the children wanted the room decorated. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the stuff I'm looking at. The type of life you trying to give your children. What kind of life you trying to give them? Because the life you calling out right now, baby, ain't nothing but heartache and struggle, honey. And ain't nothing wrong with government assistance. But for you to be deliberately putting yourself on it, that's how you know you sound very stupid. And I pray for your mama. Because, baby, something ain't right up there. Well, something is right up there. You, you 12, 13 years old, and you just think you know everything. But you're going to have a hard way to fall if you keep thinking like that. When you are 30, most women are more fertile in their 30s and their 40s than they was when they was teenagers. And I could count plenty of women. Dr. Solom, they couldn't have kids. But they had all that. One of my cousins, she on baby number five. When her whole teens and 20s being told she can't have no children. Girl, bye. My name is Shalissa. I'm 15. I got a three-year-old daughter. Um, I'm 13. I'm pregnant. I just had my first child. Like family's reactions to him being 15 having a baby with an 11 year old. Well, 12 year old, but pregnant like a week before I was in the hospital. Two weeks, something like that. Um, so honestly, I really don't even know. Um, when he found out, he was not like, he didn't really have no big ass reaction to it. Like, so he didn't even tell them. Um, I told him to tell his people. Like, I was like, I thought he was fine, but like, I don't know. It was. I don't know, man. I was, like, so, I was just. He's weird. Like his family's very uh, odd. Kind of like not odd, but just like distant. If that makes sense. Uh, honestly, I thought he told his mom because like that would be common sense. Like he's fifteen. He's having a baby. You think he would tell his mom? He did. So when I told my mom. My mom was like, well, I want to speak to his mom. Like, she got my 11-year-old, my 12-year-old pregnant. Like, what the fuck? So, like, 
I I think I don't know if I gave her. Yeah, I think I gave her his mom's number, or she found her Facebook or something. I don't know, but my mom somehow got in touch with his mom, and that's how his mom found out. And she really didn't have no reaction to it. Um, but his mom has autism, so like obviously she reacted like the only she kind of knew how to, and like that was like really not saying too much. So she was just like, okay, like, we'll, we'll get through this. But she really wasn't there the whole pregnancy. She didn't help with nothing. She didn't, need, none of the family was there. The whole entire pregnancy, nobody was there. Um, didn't show up to baby showers, gender reveals, nothing. Apparently they said it's because of his age and they didn't want him to get in trouble anymore because the police were involved and stuff. But still, they could have been there, in my opinion, but... I don't know. It's over with. It's been three years, so. But, um, it really didn't say too much of nothing. Um, the grandma was more so, like, she's gonna go to jail. So, we need to, like, figure this out. Like, we need to get a lawyer. Um, I didn't speak to the mom till I don't know. One day she dropped him off, and I was, like, five months pregnant or something like that. And that was the first time I met her. And then I met her at the Jennerville. She just dropped him off, said hello, said goodbye, and, like, literally didn't. I don't know. I want to say she might have gave me a hug, maybe, but I don't even think so. Um, we never had a conversation until three days after my daughter was born. She showed up to the house three days after um, I happened. That was the first time I met her. First time I had a conversation with her or anything. So, I really don't too much know, like, if they were stressed and if they were worried, if they were mad, if they were... I really don't know. I know she didn't sound mad over the phone. That's what my mom said. I didn't speak to her, but... My mom said um, she didn't sound mad. She just was like, okay, we'll get through it. Um, she was like, well, I'll talk to my son about it. So, yeah. Dad was happy. His, his dad was happy about it. I don't know if his dad knew how old I was, but, but he was happy about it when he found out. They didn't, I don't even think none of his family knew how old I was. And I still don't think they know how old I am. I mean, they do now. They see my posts. They do now, but... Yeah. That's the biggest concern that me I have right now because as a teen mom myself, it's so it's like this topic is very very emotional for me because I have so many like reasons to disagree with most of the co uh, comment sections, like the things that the comment section people are saying, and then the attitude that a girl is actually bringing off. Like there's so many things that I really want to say, but I can't say because it's not my life. And the main thing is that she's going to regret it no matter how much she's eating up people on the internet right now. She's definitely going to regret it. She's going to turn 20 and say, oh God, I shouldn't have done this. I should, I should, have, I should have waited and all those things. And that's the first thing. And it's going to be too late. Now, I'm very, very grateful that she didn't go and abort the baby to cause another risk. That's also very, very grateful. But at some point we parents have to teach our girls the importance of abstinence the importance of sexual education i grew up learning sexual education in school and it helped me a lot even though i'm saying i'm a teen mom i didn't get pregnant at 11 i got pregnant when i was already 18 which is very very young even for me and my family and i had to go through like a lot a lot even though i was 18 it wasn't it wasn't like really really cool pregnancy to be honest it wasn't and to be proud of it to be like just you know eating people up telling um people on the internet that at least you're not gonna be 30 and with babies it's good to have kids at early age but not that early guys not that early because you can't you can't work you are 12 years you cannot work you have to depend on your mother and your baby has to also depend on your mother and the main question is is the guy also 13 or the guy is um legal age and if the guy is a legal age i feel like this is pedophile and the guy need to be arrested but i've not seen any video so far of her saying the age of the guy so yeah but then she made the follow-up video that's what she's basically doing she's just taking comments out of comment uh, videos and replying them with some 
unnecessary comments or like questions that you're supposed to be answering you're supposed to be focusing on the baby the baby is already three by the way the baby is already you know a, a toddler so i feel like that's the reason why she's getting all these chances to feel like it's okay but it's never okay you're supposed to come here and you know tell your story right I know right now everything is come, uh, content, everybody is doing content creation, everybody is trying to make money, but there is some money that you are not supposed to be making. And I'm so happy that she'll find a way to make her content work because clearly you see her page, all the videos are really doing well, but at least change it up a little bit, you know, you could, you could be doing a day in a life as a team mom, not that I'm a team mom, I gave birth at 11 years and like so proud of it and it's gonna make another people another teenagers girls think that it's okay to be having sex at that age it's not okay your body is fully not developed your brains are not fully de not developed i'm 24 and i still feel like a kid sometimes because once you have a baby you the mother have to also grab quickly to be able to tend to the kid's need if not both of you are gonna be sick and you're gonna be looking for help everywhere that you think help is gonna come from and it's not everybody that is supposed to give your kids to it's not everybody that is supposed to leave your child i don't even care if it's a family member or whatever it's not everybody that is supposed to give you have to have people that you actually trust to have this baby with because you don't know the spirit that these people are having and then you don't know what the impact of you leaving the kids to is gonna leave on the kids later on and another problem that i have is that right now you don't have any money taking care of yourself you are going to depend on your mother you are still living with your mother instead of you to have a strategy behind these videos that you are making you are insulting people and just doing rubbish you could have i've seen so many teen moms i feel like last year last two years it was like a trend for teen moms to just be popping out every way and I've seen them making big money. I'm seeing them getting $10,000 deals a month. So I feel like on a business level, you could put some, you know, thought strategy inside this content because her content is doing really well, to be honest. It's doing really, really She's pissing a lot of people off, but she's getting the views. So this could be the time that you could put some strategy because let's be honest, the thing has already happened. I don't get people insulting her in her comment section. It has already happened. If you're going to insult her, give her advice because she shouldn't have the abort uh, the baby. Uh, I don't even go for that. I will never advise anybody to abort his child. You just don't have to do it at that early age. Simple and period. We just have to be honest. I don't know where the world is going. That we have to be. We have been so blind of what our kids are doing that we let them do whatever they want it's not okay even if your kid is 18 and then i hear so many mothers saying oh you're 18 so you can decide for yourself no you can't you have to really really focus on the kids that you're choosing to have on this earth you don't have to just leave them do whatever that they think is doing because i blame the mother i don't know if you're gonna come for me in the comment section i never blame the kid i don't blame this kid at all i blame the mother because you yourself was a did y'all see and that girl be, that was 11 when she had her baby and now she's 15 opening, having so her baby is three and her baby daddy was 19 it, her baby daddy 19 now stage, he's 15 when she had the baby if you're and she's up there being mad and bad like um because i yeah because at least i'm gonna be old guys, baby look at and me. blah 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 i am okay you were a child when i was 11 i was begging to for my mother to let me get a little bit of a crack on my nails i could not imagine i can't imagine having a kid now times at that day grown-ass woman but and being a little you know, kid for causing like all of the things that i got to experience and the freedom you're gonna end up she will never ever know everything that her mind is not even fully developed and the baby daddy so just like focus what, what's on the whatever 10 year old boy is trying to hunch one of the life for some girl. reason the whole story like is bizarro and i'm like i don't chose to be the father i'm pro-choice just put that out there but let me would have had a kid if she's 11 talking about she but the you're 
we're going with, that I'm sorry, so but we're going to the shop shop. Also There's no way that I would have an 11 year old child. How much is 28 years old right now? Because I'm going to have a 16. So the cycle is just repeating itself, but it's way younger than she's not even a tween mom. She was a tween mom. Like I said, I don't She was an elementary school mother. Father, and she's getting up here like being combative so and acting spicy as soon as she's walking around with poom poom shorts up her ass when she really don't understand that this, this is going to be a major kind of event when she gets older she's going to be like oh my god like happening either that or she's going to have arrested thing. development I think and she's still going to be operating as a 15 year old when she's well up into her 30s and she had a baby girl so hopefully that cycle stops with her but it does not seem like it because she thinks it's cute every time she come on she said yes my name is Juju and I was 11 years old when no, I had a baby. Like, that's her hook I'm line sister. Disease, At the end of the day, the young girls that's watching that, if you come across really this, strange. take your motherfucking ass to school, oh, play with some it's, dolls, it's, it's draw, strange. color, skate, sing, get a little karaoke machine, go to the mall, like, do whatever, so anything. Having a baby is permanent, and it's not cute when you are a child. There is so much life to live. What y'all think about this? Because is it just me, or is that bizarre? Spread love is a breaking way. Sound off below. That's basically what I said because you are not fully developed yet. That's number one. And on top of that, you have to be responsible for another kid because your mother also have to be responsible for your other siblings and you. And now you are out here thinking it's cute, it's nice to have a baby at another a younger age. You've not even experienced anything. You've not experienced life. And I know that you can experience all these things with your kid. But trust me, there are so many things you put on hold for the kids. There are so many things. Like, it's so much and it's a lot that you put on for your kid. And in America, they actually does not get much support. Honestly, you have to be on government support and everything like that, which is not cute. And you can't work until you're 16 or something like that, I think. So right now, you can't get any money from anywhere. It's, it's a lot it's a lot i really wish i really wish this didn't happen and every mother out there please i always say this i always say this i always say this be careful the people you choose to be in your life be careful the parent that you choose around your father your baby fathers be careful of them like choose wisely and be put your eyes on these kids it's not easy at all it's not easy because it's either this man is gonna drain the shit out of you for you to even be so crazy that you're not gonna focus on the things that are important to you and to these young girls this is not the answer this is absolutely not the answer you can have your little crushes and Trust me, by the end of the school year, you're not even going to think about him again. You are not even going to think about him again. You're not going to think he's cute again. Just focus on your schools. That's what is going to help you. You need to look at these 30 years old people advising you on the things that they've regretted in life. You can have baby anytime that you want. Have your career first. But at 11 years, you don't even... Oh gosh, it's it's crazy, it's crazy, and like I said, there's so much I want to talk about this, but <sighs> so yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section, and we can always agree to disagree. Please keep your comment respectful, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.